Yo, Kaisel here. Today we're talking about Nino Kuni Cross Worlds. I have put in about, well, 50 hours playing the game. Playing is a term that I use loosely because, well, you don't really play this game. You just sort of watch the game play it itself because there's auto combat, there's auto pathing. That, that's just the whole experience is just you watching the game play itself, which is very sad because the game had potential, but... Ugh. It's very sad. It's a mobile cash grab. Everything is pay to win. Uh, our guild for the first two, three days, we were kept in around eighth place to tenth place. We were ho hovering around there. As we level up, we would go back up to eighth. Um, and it was it was fun. That was a fun little like guild contest. We never were up up high. I think we were like fifth. Uh, on the first day, uh, the first like couple eight hours or so, when I just created the guild, we were like fifth, but then we dropped down to eighth and tenth uh, around there for the next uh, two to three days. But after that, I took a break because, well, I realized the game is just not good. Like I said, total, just a mobile cash grab. Uh, options, deals, extremely predatory marketing, and like enticing offers that they give you. Four dollars, ten wishes. Or something like you, once you do get a nice wish, you pull a four star uh, SR, super rare four star, and then bam, an offer. You get buy that four star guaranteed $80. Hmm. Um, yeah, I don't want to play that kind of a game. But that's one concern, and pay to win, that's going to happen games more and more as the time goes on. But uh, this game, it was just on a whole nother level. Uh, let's actually switch to the game we can see right here. As we can see the game right here, it is auto combating for me. Uh, as you can see, I have auto combat turned on. The only thing that I can actually do in the game to control the combat is pop the ultimate. Just like that, pops the ultimate, switch back, pop this ultimate, and it just keeps on going. That's all there is to it. That's literally all there is to it. As you can see, our guild, because uh, of the pay to win mechanics that are in this game, we went, our kingdom went from rank, oh, we actually just went up a little bit. We went from rank 8 around here, being fighting with Deliquence, Adequate, Adapti, and uh, We Are Potatoes, uh, all the way down to currently 22. We were at 38 today. So just because the people at the top started wailing, we dropped from 8 to 38. Insane, uh, but whales are gonna be whales, and I guess that's just how it is. Overall, the game characters look great. As you take a look uh, closer up here, you can see the character design is pretty solid, and it's very great quality compared to something like Genshin Impact. But the world design, like this area, looks fine. It's okay. The shrubs, something like Genshin Impact as well, maybe a little bit less poly. Back there as well, as you can see, it's fine as well. But when you're out in the open world and you look over, my goodness, man, that's some like PS2 graphics. And well, the first time I saw it, I was like, yikes, um, no, I don't want this. This is not immersive. Genshin Impact, you look, wow, beautiful game. There's not maybe not much to do in Genshin Impact, but it's a beautiful game. It looks great. It's eye candy. Waifus are on point. Here, your character looks pretty good. Combat doesn't exist. No, I believe you can turn it off somehow, but why? When everyone else is doing it and you're just putting yourself at a disadvantage if you do so. So overall, am I going to play this game? No, I'm going to drop it. Um, I'm going to transfer my leadership to one guy who's actually playing it. I think he's the guy. Yeah, we'll just transfer for him the membership, guild membership, because, well, there's no point uh, for me to continue playing it. There we go. That is done. Um... I'll be dropping this game because there's really not much to do. But if you are interested in content that I'm going to be making, uh, I will be playing our live on stream at twitch.tv slash And I'll be playing Tales of Arise as well. Next, we have Scarlet Nexus and then SAO Fatal Bullet. We might try to check out that game as well. I think it's like the best SAO game that was made. But at the same time, it's kind of old, so I might refund it and just not play it. But first game is Tales of Arise. We'll be playing that. should look forward to it. Uh, this game, is it worth your time? Now, probably not. Uh, go jump in, maybe download it, try it out. But overall, this is not a game you should invest your time into or your money because it really just disrespects you overall. Uh, I can just leave this here like I did on the first and second day. 
all time when I'm not playing auto in the background and they would keep on farming and that's kind of dumb. Um, I don't know. If you like that stuff, if you like something like AFK Arena, maybe this is a game for you, you know? Maybe you want to spend lots of money on something that looks kind of trash overall. Mm, yeah, go for it. Try out Nino Kuni Cross World. Me, personally, no. Uh, I like any games, anime games, but this ain't it. Uh, thank you for watching. All right. Um, I'll catch you guys on my streams. You can check me out on Twitch. Or more videos here are going to be on YouTube. So I'll catch you guys uh, later.